everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a gloomy day. In fact, it's rain. it was raining out when I brought the chickens, their chicken scratch. And pretty boy, of course it's raining, so he's not going to go up on the railing. But I went into the chicken run and I gave them their chicken scratch and they were all excited about getting their chicken scratch. Little lady, she follows. Every step I make, she's right there by my feet. But yet, when I go to pick her up, she doesn't want to be picked up. She just wants to follow me, and she knows that I'm the source of food, so she follows. I took Mr. Brown outside today twice before the rain came, and he disappeared. You know, when we took the kids shopping one time, we were, at, we were in Erie, PA at the time, and we had gone into a Salvation Army store. And you can see, the, you know, we used to let the kids kind of go together and just kind of wander as we wandered. And all of a sudden I noticed I could not find Laura and Emily. And I'm thinking, where in the world are they? And, you know, you could see above the, the racks. I could always see Laura. I may not see Emily because Emily was very tiny. And so I went out of the store looking around the parking lot. I didn't see anything, but I was panicking. And come to find out they had gone into the dressing room to try something on. And I says, you know, you need to tell me if you're going in there to try something on. Because I felt like I didn't want to shop anymore. I just wanted to go home. And the same thing with Mr. Brown today. He did not come when I clapped my hands. He's getting to be to the point where he's thinking, I'm a big boy now. I can do what I want to do. <laughs> he's actually making a different sound with his voice. He still has a little peeping sound, but he has like more of a raspy, I don't know, honky sound. I don't know what to <laughs> you, how you would describe it. But he's starting to grow up. He still doesn't have any saddle feathers, and he still doesn't have the red crown on his head. He still looks like he could be a hen, but, you, but every now and then you look at his feathers and you'll find some really pointy ones in there. So I know he's a rooster, and, and his voice is starting to change, like the boys do. Their voice mm -hmm. goes from peep, peep, peep to honk, 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 kind of <laughs> raspy. <laughs> and just before I came up, I had to pick up poop. You know, birds are dirty, dirty animals. For those of you that have birds, they're they're not they're not an easy animal to care for inside the house. Thank goodness he has just his room, because I would never let him in the rest of the house. Because you find little bits of dander around that they release from their feathers, and of course the pooping. He did poop in the bucket twice yesterday, and he pooped once today, but he's not consistent. So I'm still picking up poop and dumping it. He is jumping into his cage a lot better now. He seems to like it better, but I had to put some chicken scratch in there a few days just to get him to say, oh, if I go in that cage, I get some chicken scratch. So now I don't put the chicken scratch in, but he still jumps in very nicely. And in the morning, I open up the door, turn on the light, or I turn on the light, then I open the door, and I let him jump out by himself. And then I go sit down in the blue chair, and I get the chicken scratch, and he sits and he hops up on the board. I don't even have to talk to him anymore. And then he will pretend to tap the board. He's, he's clever. He will turn his head like he's going to tap it, and then, but I watch to see if he's making contact. And then he'll try again, and he won't make contact. Then he'll tap it, and then the food comes back. The scratch comes back. So I should, I wish I had a bell there or something, but I don't know if he would ring it or not. I'm going to have to try to rig up, rig up something so that he has to ding the bell because if the washing machine is going, I can't hear his tap. And he does it very quietly, and he's real sneaky about it. So I'm going to have to try to rig something up that makes a different sound that I can hear. Because every now and then the washing machine is going when he's in there. And it makes too much noise for me to hear his little tap on the wood. Well, I mm -hmm. guess that's it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little talk about mm -hmm. the chickens. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>